Wolverine. I mean, this is, I always like the max. You guys, you know, I just got back from Comic-Con in New York. New York Comic-Con. And I got this awesome oh. piece of artwork that someone made for me. That is awesome. Nice. That is nice. As you guys know, I do my She-Hulk cosplay, so it was really cool. I don't yeah, know if you guys can awesome. get a chance to look at this. And I unfortunately don't know the artist that did it. He did sign it for me, but I didn't get a chance to get his name. That, that is really well but done. I really, yeah, it's really well done, and I appreciated it so much. And it is uh, number one of the FF. Awesome. Yeah, I yeah. heard there was actually some news that came out of New York Comic Con. I mean, yeah. DC's having their big 75th anniversary of Batman, and they're doing this new weekly series called Batman Eternal, and that's coming out in the spring 2014. Hmm. And they're even bringing back... A like a character that has been kind of toxic in the past, uh, Stephanie Brown, who's was once a villain, turned Robin, then turned Batgirl. Okay. Hmm. And then Scott Lob Lobdell, writer of Superboy, he even I don't know why he even announced that. I mean, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but he he announced that the clone Connor Kent from Superboy is he's gonna die, and that he's actually gonna be replaced by an alternate future son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. Well, he hmm. better have something good to back it up if he's going to bring out a spoiler I mean, like that. He, I mean, he's spoiling it himself right there. <laughs> I heard in Marvel News, uh, Inhuman number one, January 2014, will be written by Matt Fraction and will have new Inhumans following events in Infinity, not all embracing their new... Sorry. Not all embracing their new King Black Bolt. So the Inhumans are going to so have a little bit of infighting among... They're going to have a among. new king, apparently. Yeah. Um, and all new Invaders number one, Iron Patriot, all new uh, Ghost Rider, and Silver, Sur Silver Surfer were announced. Silver Surfer will uh, feature Dan Slott as writer and Mark Alred as penciler. Well, that's a lot of interesting news over here. It looks like yeah, Dark Horse Comics has announced multiple video game tie-ins. Uh, looks like partnership with the acclaimed RPG maker and CG Project Red will bring the Witcher title comic to the books in March 2014 mm -hmm. in time for their next video game installment, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The Witcher is a very adult graphic kind of RPG, very in-depth, a lot of magic and sword fighting. So that, that sounds should, like that it should make cool. a good comment. Yeah, that should that should. Uh, the next one up was uh, everybody's <laughs> out on the pronunciation on this it's one. It's Japanese. <laughs> it's Japanese, so it's Yaeba Ninja Gaiden Z. They're going to bring uh, Kenji and Fuente's Ninja Gaiden series to the comics. That should be interesting. And then Eve sounds cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Eve Online is inspired by actual player-driven events in the MMO's world history, which I think is really cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. Anytime you can be a player and get involved in what's actually going on, it just makes you all the more involved, and it makes it all the more real to you. Absolutely. What else is going on? Oh, Dynamite Comics. Uh, Ren's Red Sonia, uh, Gail Simone. And Conan, uh, by Brian Wood, will reunite after 15 years in crossover event in partnership with Dark Horse Comics. So hmm. Dynamite and Dark Horse actually are working together to bring these two characters that haven't been together for 15 years. And, I mean, you got Gail Simone and Brian Wood, two of my favorite writers, so that's going to be awesome. I'm checking that's that cool. out. Yeah. Um, in January, we'll have a five-week run of Lil Dynamite titles. Uh, five one-shot comics featuring all ages takes on characters including Red Sonja, Evil Bernie, Battlestar Galactica, Vampirella, and Bionic Man. I mean, they had a little, uh, cool. little Hellboy. So, yeah, out, so, for yeah, kids. Yeah, it's a little, cute. like, cartoony little intro. Yeah, I like that's cute. <laughs> it's going to be interesting with, you know, Evil Bernie because that's not very cute. <laughs> so. But all of that cute stuff has been like hitting really big lately, so I'm sure it'll do well. I like that they're bringing it out for younger ages. So, um, Bill Willingham of Fables fame will bring Legendary uh, a steampunk adventure, a seven-issue monthly crossover event featuring classic characters of comics and film. I'm a fan of steampunk, so yeah, that's gonna yeah. be interesting. Always aesthetically pleasing. You know, it's actually fortuitous because Xenoscope uh, started putting out little teasers about their next uh, big event after Unleashed, since that's ending, is going to be Age of Darkness. And while we don't know what 
everything's going to bring on that. I did actually get a chance to interview Pat Shand, mm -hmm. who wrote a number of the Unleashed titles, and a lot of other ones like Robin, Robin Hood and a lot of titles for Xenoscope. There is a new series coming out called Quest in November, and Pat even let it drop that he's having another title coming out in December called Red that's only just now starting to be teased. So hmm. Fantastic. I, I'd love to see that interview. Yeah, that's going to be coming up hopefully this weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of news out of New York Comic Con. I mean, it's huge, and it's actually, just this year, number-wise, it matched San Diego Comic Con. That's wow. fantastic. It was very so. hectic there. I had an absolutely great time. It was a wonderful experience. Um, you won as a cosplayer. So. I did. I did get I won best interpretation of character for my female Nightcrawler cosplay. Oof. Got to get a couple of pictures with um, Yaya Han and Ivy Doom Kitty was so gracious oh, and Ivy. gave me love, a, Ivy. love Ivy. She gave me a bunch of great pictures and we had a really good time. Yeah, I'm really sad I missed it this year, but I'll be yeah, I'll be planning ahead. I'll I will move my school schedule around New York Comic Con just for that. So, a lot. I can't wait to see the next uh, convention that goes on. So, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. This is a special on the New York Comic Con, and we'll see you on every big event. We'll try to get all the news.